Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to have a look at the Hornby A4, uh, was it 6028, which is Walter K. Wiggum in the um, BI Experimental Purple livery, which it carried in the 50s for a year or so. Um, it's fitted with the TTS sound chip, and we're going to have a look at upgrading the speaker from the standard stock one that comes with it to a one inch mega bass in the tender. Um, before I start any work though, I just thought I'd show you, um, I'll let you listen sorry, to what the TTS chip sounds like with the standard speaker, just so we've got a bit of a benchmark. Okay, so as you can see, not bad. Um, quality's there, but it's just a little bit quiet, and it's not quite got the depth of feel of some of the other um, sound fitted trains I've got. I did um, put the same one inch speaker in a Block 5 yesterday, um, and that went very well. Quite a lot of cutting in the tender, but it went well and it sounds great. So I thought I'd try it in this. I'm a little bit more nervous because this is a brand new Christmas present. Um, and looking in the tender, it's going to require at least as much cutting as the Black 5, if not more. But I'll get it apart, and I'll show you what my plan is, and then see how we get on. Right, so I'm back with you. This is the tender in um, apart. So basically, there's not a lot of room, as you can see. There's a big inset here, which is oh, in the way. <laughs> Uh, it's got removable coal load, which is good. Um, base of the tender with the old TTS speaker chip and the weight and whatnot. Don't really want to take the weight off because um, I think the weight will definitely add something to the pulling power of the local. So what my plan is to get this speaker fitted and see the size of it compared to the tender. Um, I'm going to get the Dremel out, mill this section out here. And see how we get on. May mean taking this bit out here as well, but we'll see. But the um, call load will cover it all back up anyway when we put it back in. So, see how we get on, and I'll be back shortly. So, I'm back with you. Um, the chip and the speaker are finally installed. I say finally because it's been quite a long and testing day. Actually, getting the speaker into the tender was straightforward enough, just required a bit of dremeling. Um, fits the chip fits wiring the speaker onto the chip I don't know what went wrong whether I 
let one of the wires touch to each other to the speaker or whatnot, but it ended up the chip not having sound. So it sounds like the audio module or part of the chip had blown. So the chain was running around with DCC, doing everything as it should, but no sound. Um, tried the speaker on a different, different chip and the speaker worked. Tried the chip in a different loco and it did the same. So I'm, I'm guessing it was just the audio side of the chip. So went down to the model shop, bought another chip, and it all seems okay now. Um, I forgot to take a video of of the um, of the chip, of the speaker installed, but I did take a picture on my phone. Um, so that's how I've installed the speaker. So it's just under the coil load facing upwards. And um, once you put the coil load back in, it gives it a nice vibration back. So I think it sounds quite good. Um, so let's get it fired up anyway and we'll um, see what it sounds like, see what you all think. Right, and just to show you how smooth it is with this chip, I'm just going to move it ever so slightly backwards as well, to show you how quickly it picks up. So that's our speed setting 2 out of 128. <laughs> just see how fine. Oh, the rods are, it's great. Anyway, so that's Walter Wiggum with the one inch mega bass speaker in the tender. Let us know what you think. I really like it. It's quite loud. It's a different sound than the Black 5. Um, it's nice. I like it. Alright, bye for now.